Right, we have news coming in on Modi government's Buddhist face slamming the Congress's claim. Modi Mantri Rijiju says the Congress is tarnishing Baba Sahib Ambedkar's legacy. This is Rijiju uh, speaking about uh, the Congress saying that it's an insult that the Congress is often uh, seen meeting out on the Constitution. Uh, the book itself has been insulted by the Congress. Rijiju claiming. Uh, that Baba, Sahib, Baba Sahib's Ambedkar is being deliberately tarnished. His legacy is being tarnished, all thanks to the Congress. Claim of Ambedkar mulling Islam is wrong. Here is Rajiju's reaction, a sharp one, on what the Congress Neta had said, saying that it's an insult to Baba Sahib's legacy. The claim of Ambedkar wanting to convert to Islam is absolutely false. The Modi government's... Uh, comment that comes in now, a reaction to what the Congress leader said. Rijiju, we're going to try and get a reaction for you. Kiran Rijiju, who's responded to what the Congress leader has said. Modi government's Buddhist face uh, as Kiran Rijiju himself has waked this up, saying that Baba Sahib Ambedkar never was mulling over Islam and it's an insult. In, it, the Congress itself is insulting Baba Sahib's legacy. Let me bring in Nagarjun Dwarkana for more on that. Nagarjun, what exactly has the Congress leader said on Baba Sahib Ambedkar wanting to convert to Islam. At the last minute, he turned to Buddhism. Why did he say that? The campaign in Haveri, uh, Sayyid uh, Ajampi Khatri, he's a Congress maker locally in the district. While addressing the campaign, he was talking about how Ambedkar wanted to convert to Islam and at the last moment, he turned Buddhist. And now the BJP has hit back and uh, Union Parliament Chairperson Minister Kiran Rajuchu also has tweeted saying that his statement is wrong, uh, that he eventually became Buddhist is wrong and Baba in the book and he's asked the Congress not to mislead and destroy the legacy of Ambedkar is what the official stand of the BJP as well is in, in the state of Karnataka. This has come from Haveri thing, a, a conference there in the campaign meeting where all the uh, senior netas were on the stage. Khadri went ahead and said that as per him, his information is that Ambedkar wanted to convert to Islam but in the later stages turned uh, chose Buddhism as his religion. All right. Now, uh, a little more clarity on what was that platform he spoke in. This was Haveri, we hear. And uh, was this a government event? We hear that Syed Azim Peer was basically a JDS MLA previously. He has now joined the Congress. What position does he hold? He, is, he, is, he doesn't hold any position as of now on paper, but he's a district leader of the KPCC there in Haveri and has uh, excellent the other party. This was a campaign uh, conference that was happening. He was addressing uh, people while speaking, seeking votes for the Congress, and he was talking about how SESs Muslims have been benefited from the Congress. In that uh, same breath, he spoke about how Ambedkar wanted to convert to Islam. Right. Has there been any response so far, Nagarjun, by the Congress leaders? Because we've heard the Union Minister and the face, Buddhist face himself in the Modi government, Kiran Rijiju, responding, saying this is an absolute insult to Baba Sahib's legacy. And never was he mulling over converting to Islam. This is false. We have not reacted because he's not one of the top leaders of the state. So the PM, DCM or any other big natives have not reacted. But the organization has stopped taking cognizance of what we are told. Most likely by right. evening, there will be a statement officially from the party. Right. So let me also bring in BJP's Amit Malviya joining us on the phone line. Amit Malviya, Ambedkar was mulling over converting to Islam. At the nth moment, he turned to Buddhism. Words of a Congress leader in Karnataka. What's your take on that? There is absolutely no truth to what the former Karnataka Congress MLA has has said, Baba Sahib Ambedkar was never ever inclined to convert to Islam. And in fact, if I can quote to you what Baba Sahib Ambedkar said in his book, Pakistan or the Partition of India, he very categorically says that Islam is close cooperation and the distinction that it makes between Muslims and non-Muslims is very real, very positive and very alienating distinction. The brotherhood of Islam is not the universal brotherhood of man. It is the brotherhood of Muslims 
for Muslims only. Therefore, he was very categorical in saying that he would never embrace Islam or for that matter even Christianity. He did turn to Buddhism later, but never to Islam. Therefore, this attempt is nothing but an but a opportunity that the Congress is seeking to forge an alliance between the Dalits and the Muslims, which will never ever fructify. You know, the, the Congress has been accused of pushing for Muslim quota um, at this point while that controversy is brewing. And you have Raven Reddy in Telangana also warning uh, for the Muslims never to support any other party but the Congress because BJP is out there to cut all reservation for Muslims. This comment, wh what does it appear to you? The attempt of the Congress party to provide religion-based reservation is in complete contempt of the Constitution. They have tried this in the past, but the judiciary has struck it down. Even the recent attempt by the Karnataka government and the government in Telangana to provide reservations will not go past the judicial scrutiny. Even in Maharashtra, the Ulema board has presented Jinnah-like demands where they have sought reservations for Muslims, Sharia law, a specific quota for the Muslims in employment as well as the government. Now, these are demands that Jinnah made in 1929, which led to India's partition. And this is exactly the path that the Congress is now going down again. Well, we must learn from our history. And as long as the BJP is a dominant force in India's politics, the Congress will never, ever succeed. A little on Baba Sahib Ambedkar's legacy, Amit Malviya. Here you have uh, the BJP, you have Union Minister Kiran Rijiju saying this is an ad absolute insult to Ambedkar's legacy. There's been a whole war around the Constitution about how the Congress accuses the BJP of trying to change the Constitution if it's in power. Uh, those allegations against you for trying to target the Constitution and uh, finally insulting Baba Sahib Ambedkar, uh, fingers pointed on both ends. There is truth to what we are saying, and there is complete falsehood to the assertions that the Congress has made in the past. We are seeing this in Maharashtra election. Everybody you speak to is now very clear that the Congress misled them with the Constitution can be altered campaign. Uh, we are seeing the kind of attempts that the Congress is making to push for the minorities and Muslims in particular. It almost seems like there are no other minorities in this country as far as Congress is concerned. You look at the WAC board, there is massive protest happening in Kerala right now where the Christian community is opposing WAC's attempt to take over their properties, which date back several hundred years. Now, given this kind of a scenario, given the violations that the Congress is indulging in with the spirit of the Constitution, pushing for minority reservation, targeting other minorities, including the Christians. It is getting crystal clear that it's a matter of survival for the Congress party and their leadership and people at different levels of the party are trying to forge a coalition with the Muslims as the core of it. That is also the reason why Priyanka Vadra has chosen to make her debut from Bainar and not from one of their bastions in Uttar Pradesh, where there is a Metis or Rai Bareilly. That really shows that the Congress is the new Muslim League in India. All right, Amit Padmiya, we've heard you. Thank you very much for joining us with those details where clearly this has now become the new flashpoint, the legacy of Baba Sahib Ambedkar. As the BJP says, the Congress has insulted it by saying that Baba Sahib Ambedkar wanted to convert to Islam uh, and he turned to Buddhism at the nth moment. This is, these are the words of one of the Congress netas in Karnataka's Haveri, to which the BJP has uh, condemned this, saying this is absolutely false and an insult to Ambedkar's legacy. Remember, Ambedkar's legacy, the Constitution, has really become the real center point for all the clashes in pole-bound states of Maharashtra, Jharkhand, and now it appears in Karnataka.